it's Allison, and welcome to Thinking Outside the Box. Today, I'm going to show you how I created these gorgeous butterfly wings. These were all created with an image transfer to UV resin. I actually discovered this process purely by accident, and I really believe this is going to be groundbreaking for anyone who creates with UV resin. This process will allow you to take a color image and transfer it to the UV resin, which in turn eliminates the need for a shape mold. So in essence, you can create any shape with an image such as, such as I did with these wings. In this video, I will give you the exact recipe so that you may start creating your own wings and other beauties. So let's get started. So before we dive into creating the actual image onto the UV resin, I wanted to show you where I got my images from. And this is an Etsy shop called My Beaded Bohemian. And they have many, many wonderful um, dragonfly, butterfly, very colorful downloads. These are printable downloads. So as soon as you pay for the image, you will have a link to download it, to put right onto your computer or your iPad or your, or your uh, tablet, if you have an iPad or a tablet, um, or your phone. And they are yours then to print. So you can reuse them and you can also take the images now, we, this is the butterfly uh, that I used, and what I did was I took the wings separately, so you don't need to leave these connected. I put them into a photo editing software program, and I made the wings the exact size that I wanted, and I edited it to just creating separate wings as opposed to connected. So there are free photo editing programs that you can use and you can put a bunch of them on one page, putting them at the size that you want and then printing them out. Um, I also will show you some examples that I created using these dragonfly images. So let's go back to the butterflies. Now I do wanna mention only use images that you have the rights to or the permission to use. Never use copyrighted images. That's just wrong and we don't do wrong. So make sure you have permission, make sure that you have purchased them with the rights to use them. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up with the supplies that you will need and I will be back. The supplies needed to create what I'm going to show you in this video are you're going to need a lighter to get the bubbles out of your resin. You're going to need a small pair of scissors that you can fussy cut with. You're going to need a small um, container. This is just a silicone mold and I like to use these because it's really easy to get the resin out of when you're done mixing because you can just pop it into the oven and then it'll peel right out. So this is just a, a jewelry mold and that's what I use to mix. You're going to need some toothpicks. I like to quick set um, some of my items before I put them in under my UV lamp and this is just a small UV flashlight and that's how I do that. You're going to need some, um, first of all, this tutorial is using a color laser printer. I'm fortunate to have one of those. Um, they've actually gone way down in price on now for the color ones and you, if you don't have a color laser printer, you can put the images on to, after you've edited them, put them to the size that you want, whatever, you can take your 
laser printer transparency film to a local printer and they will print that onto the film for you if you don't have a laser printer. So you will need the transparency film. You're going to need some masking tape that's pretty sticky, a tile to work on, some black ink that is permanent and waterproof, and this is just a little dauber that I use to apply the ink. You're going to use hard UV resin and soft UV resin for this project. You are going to need a UV lamp, and this is what I use. It's a 36 watt UV lamp, as well as um, things to decorate the back. Now your, your pieces are going to be transparent and they are already gonna have color on them, but you might wanna glitz them up a bit like I did with the wings you saw in the beginning. I used some holographic, very fine glitter. I used teeny little pieces of mylar that actually look like glitter, but it is mylar and they're very, very small pieces. I also used some Born Pretty powders, and these are the really sparkly ones that really don't show up uh, unless you put it onto another color. And that's what we'll be doing in this tutorial. So I will have links to everything, including the images that I showed you at the beginning of the video with the Etsy shop, I will have links to the exact wings that I used, as well as links to most of what you see here. Um, you, of course, don't need links to toothpicks, scissors, and lighters. Um, you can get this at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or whatever. But I will have links to the resin. Um, I will put links to the glitter, to the Mylar, and to the Born Pretty powders that I used. The three wings that are three sets of wings that you saw in the beginning, that's what I used. Born Pretty Powders, I used this Mylar, and I used this glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up, and I will be back to show you how to create your image transfer to UV resin. These are sheets that I have printed out and cut up, but basically it's... The sheet is the size of a normal piece of copy paper. So that would be eight and a half by, I'm not sure, 10 and a half or 11. Anyway, you will print that out. And I have done three different ones and cut them up already. But what I wanted to show was how you can tell the printed side. There will be a shiny side where your print is and on the other side it'll be not so shiny except for the transparency paper or uh, film but that part will be like matte that is actually where the ink is on your transparency film you want to try not to handle that too much you could scratch that ink off you don't want to get your uh, the oils from your fingers on it and so forth so you just want to be careful once you print it out to treat it delicately. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to figure out what wing we want to use for this tutorial. And I think I am going to go with this one here. And we are going to make one of the glitter earrings with it. So you're just going to not cut it out perfectly yet, but leave yourself enough at the top, the bottom, and the sides. So you have your image cut out, and that's the shiny side. That's the printed side, because it's not so shiny. And you're going to take this and you're going to put it 
onto a clean tile with the printed side up. And we're just gonna take some of our tape and we're gonna tape that down. Just so it doesn't move around. And I just put a little bit of the tape at the top and a little bit down at the bottom, just so your image is flat. So now you have it taped to your tile. You don't wanna get your tape too close to where the printing is, just at the edges of the transparency film. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here, just to get you closer to what we're doing. And now I am going to give you the formula of how to get your image transfer. And that is where we come in with the soft UV resin and the hard UV resin. And I'm not gonna give you measurements like in milliliters or anything like that. It's gonna be in drops. <laughs> and that's the best that I can do for you. So depending on the size of what you're creating, you may, may need to double up or even triple up if it's, you know, any bigger. But we are going to be doing it in drops, and I do that with the ratio to ratio. So we get our little uh, mixing thing out, and you want to have a toothpick. And the formula is eight drops of hard to four drops of soft. And I have found that that is the best way to get a good image. So I'm gonna go ahead and put eight drops of hard into my container. And we're just doing it by the drop. So I'm trying to see if I can, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the next thing we would do is put four uh, drops of the soft in, but because this is a larger image, I'm gonna double up. So I'm really gonna go with 16 drops of hard and eight drops of soft because we are doubling it. So we're gonna go one more of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So because we doubled it, eight and eight is 16. Now we're gonna go with eight drops of soft because we use double that, we wanna double that, double the soft. So instead of four drops to eight, we're gonna go eight drops to 16, and I hope I haven't confused you. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, and another four. One, two, three, four. So that gives us a total of eight drops. Eight drops of hard to four drops of soft. We doubled it up, so we went 16 drops of hard to eight drops of soft. Now you wanna mix that really good. And if you get some bubbles in it, don't worry about it. We are going to get those bubbles out. Just make sure that you've mixed it really well. You want everything mixed together. 
All right, our next step is we are going to divide this between the two wings. So I'm gonna pour some on this wing and pour some on this other wing. And now we still have some left in there. We'll be using it too. I'm taking the side of the toothpick and just touching the top of the resin. I don't want to really touch my image because I don't want to accidentally scrape any of the ink off of it. So I'm just lightly pulling the top of the resin over onto the wing, covering all of the color on the wing. And I'm gonna do that over on this side. Just taking the very top of the resin so you don't compromise the ink by scratching it. And we're trying to be as even as we can. So I'm gonna add a little more resin to each wing because you don't want a real thick layer, but you don't want a real thin layer either. Because you want to make sure that all that ink transfers over. So I'm going to thin it out or spread it out over the wing making sure every bit of ink is covered. Do the same for this one. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more to this wing. Seems to need a little more resin. Now you may wanna wear gloves for this if you're afraid of getting any resin on your fingers. But I get yelled at, but I don't normally wear gloves. If I do get a little bit of resin on my fingers, I just wipe it off right away with a baby wipe or go wash my hands with soap and water. All right, so we've evened it out on the wings. Every bit of our image is now covered. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that there is resin going over the image. And you wanna do that all the way around. You don't want it to just stop at your image, you want it to go a little bit over. So I'm just gonna make sure all the way around that that resin goes over. And I'll bring it up. And as you can see, which I hope you can see on camera, is that the resin is just a little bit over the image. Now I'm gonna take my lighter and I'm gonna get out any bubbles. And I may have to turn my air conditioner off for this part, but I think I've got it. So I'm just lightly going over, making sure all the air bubbles are popped. And this will also help even out your resin. All right, our next step, now that we have all the bubbles out, is just to double check, make sure that every part of your image is covered with the resin mix. And now I'm gonna put this under my UV lamp, which is kind of off camera, but I am gonna put it under there. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer And we are going to time this for five minutes. So 
So I'm gonna let that cure for five minutes and I will be back. All right, our five minutes is almost up. And we can take our pieces out of the UV lamp. All right, as you see, I have put my little thing that I used to mix it in there to cure and it pulls right out. Now we're gonna take, I'll zoom in a little bit more. We're gonna take our piece carefully off of our tile. And you don't want to bend this, so just pull it off very carefully. Go ahead and pull your tape off carefully. And we're just going to put this off to the side to cool. And now we're going to prep our tile to finish off our wings once we get the transparency done. So what I'd like to do is take some tape and I do, I do the ends down like that just so I can handle it without it sticking to my fingers. And then I take a little bit more and I tear that in half to conserve tape. Put some up top. And put some at the bottom to secure the tape to the tile. Now I also like to do the edges. So I'll tear some more tape off and tear that straight down the middle and secure my edges down onto my tile. Whoops, we got our tape stuck to our image. <laughs> okay. And do the other side. So now, our middle part is sticky and everything is secure. So our next step is to take our wings. Let me put this off to the side. We're gonna take our wings and we are going to fussy cut them off of here. First thing I like to do is cut straight down the middle to separate the wings. And I always like to start with the, um, the straight edge. So I'm gonna go about halfway down and I'm cutting along the black lines, along the edges. And at this part, I like to just curve. You can, you know, cut it out exact, but I just like to make a curve there. But if you wanna cut, you know, directly how the image is, that's fine and then curve the top, come back down to where we started. And we're gonna do the same with this one. Start about halfway. And curve. Cutting completely around the edges. Curve the top and come back down to where we started. All right, now this is the part where we actually have our image transfer done. So you wanna have your tile ready that we're gonna place our piece down on. You're going to take one of the wings and you're going to lightly 
bend. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my air conditioner off because I want you to hear this. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it, but it will crackle. So hopefully it's quiet enough in here. Lightly bend. You're not bending hard. That crackling that you're hearing is the image releasing from the transfer paper. When it releases, that image is going to be on the UV resin. So there will be no transfer paper at all used in these wings other than to make the image. Now you should be able to just slide it right off. Here's our transfer paper. Here's our UV resin. A lot of people use transfer paper in their work. This will eliminate that because UV resin doesn't really like to stick to transfer paper. So in time, it could release within your work and cause bubbles. This way, you're left with only UV resin. So I'll show you that again. It just slides right off. This top part is the UV resin. This underside is where your transfer is, where your ink is. That ink can still be scratched off, so you still need to be careful. Just remember the part that comes off the transfer, when you slide it off of there, that part that was touching the transfer is where the ink transferred over to the resin. So you wanna take that and turn it this way where your ink side is up. And you're gonna go ahead and put it down onto your tile. And we'll do this again. Take your wing, lightly bend, and you'll hear the crackling. That's it releasing from the transfer paper. Flip it to the other side. And let's see, that transfer paper is on the bottom. Pull it away and the part that is touching the transfer film, I keep calling it a paper, it's not paper, it's film. Transfer film, that's the side that has your image with the ink. So you want to, that's on the bottom, flip this over and put it down on your tile. Now, as you see on this one, there's one teeny little area that did not transfer over. That is actually the first time that this has happened to me. I swear on the Bible. <laughs> I have gotten a perfect transfer every time. If that happens to you, go ahead and whip out your alcohol markers, find a color that is similar to the missing color, and that is kind of a yellowish orange. And all you have to do is color that area in. And that's it. So I'm kind of glad that that did happen so that I could show you if you have one little spot that doesn't transfer over, don't scrap the whole thing and start over. Get out your alcohol markers and that will take care of it. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. It won't take long because it is an alcohol marker. And we're gonna move on to the next step. While that's drying, I will explain one thing to you. This side has, this whole piece now is UV resin, except this side is now your print side. If you're going to use the Born Pretty powders, 
you are going to need to add a very thin layer to this side, cure it, and then add your Born Pretty powders. And I just take a little Q-tip and I put, you know, the colors where I want them. If you don't put UV resin down on here, your Born Pretty powders are not going to stick. They only stick to the UV resin. So I'm not doing the Born Pretty powders in this tutorial. I am going to be using the glitter in this one. If you're gonna use the glitter or if you're gonna use the Mylar, you don't need to do that extra step of putting UV resin down and then curing and then coming back and doing it. We are going to mix the glitter in with the UV resin and put it on top. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna zoom back out. And we are going to take our holographic glitter. Let me move this out of the way. And we are going to mix it up with some UV resin. And from now on in the tutorial, we are not using the soft resin anymore. We're only using the hard resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna scoop some of this out. This, this uh, glitter is so pretty and it's super fine. So it works beautifully for this product. Now I'm going to get out my hard resin and we're gonna put some in here, kind of eyeballing it. You don't want a super thin mixture, but you don't want it super thick either. And it's better to start with a little, mix it up. And if you need to add more, then you can add more. But you're basically just mixing that resin up with that glitter. And you wanna make sure it's mixed well. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna bring my wings over and we are going to put half and half, half on this wing and half on the other. And then we'll go ahead and spread that out. Again, we are taking the edge of the toothpick and or the side of the toothpick and just taking it from the top of the resin because remember, you can still scratch that ink off of there. You don't wanna do that. And you're just pulling it to the edge. So this is now going to be the back of the wing. And all your sparkly goodness is going to show through the color on the front of the wing. And take it all the way to the edge. Do the same for the other wing. Now, if you go over the edge a little, like say some resin spills over on this step, that's fine. 
you can, when we're done with this step, you can um, cut it off of there with scissors once it's cured. So I may not have made enough here, but we're gonna try and get the rest of this out. Because you're doing a thin coat, but you wanna make sure all of it's covered. So you're just dragging the top of the resin and pulling it to the edge. Making sure that you've gotten all the way to the edge, all the way around. So you just take your toothpick and make sure you've gotten to your edge. And do the same for the other wing. All right, you are going to take these and put them under your UV lamp. And I like to cure for eight minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Putting it under my UV lamp. I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes. Go ahead and turn my lamp on. Set my timer and I will be back. All right, these are done curing. And again, I pop that under there. So that can just be pulled right out of your mold. Now we're going to release these from our tape and you just grab a corner and this is the sparkly goodness on this side and do the same for this one you're just pulling it straight up off the tape and this is what we have so far very sparkly however we are not completed <laughs> these are not completed we are not done um these are going to become even sparkly believe it or not sparklier if that's a word the next step is i like to make my edges more defined and that is where our black ink comes in and i'm going to take a dauber that i've already used not to mess up a brand new dauber now, this is the part, we'll get in a little closer. This is the part where you're gonna check your edges to make sure if there was any overspill, I told you you could just take your scissors and cut that off. And I don't think I had any on either of these. Yep, the edges look good. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to put ink, black ink, this is permanent ink, along the edges of our pieces just to give them more definition. And how I got a hair there, I'll never know. And it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> all right. So all you need to do is dab your dauber into your ink and you're just tapping it along the edges. And that is just defining those edges, covering up any places that don't have black will now have black. Like when I cut to make a curve, 
and didn't cut it exact the way the image was, it'll cover that up. Now when you turn it, be careful you don't touch that ink because it's wet and it does take a little while to dry. And you're just gonna do this all the way around. Until you're happy with it. And I like to just go ahead and set it down on my tile to dry. If you get some ink on your fingers, make sure you wipe it off because when you pick up your next wing, you don't want to be getting ink where you don't want it. So my hands are clean and we're going to go ahead and do this one. And you're just getting all the edges. and it just gives it a much more finished look. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down on my tile. And now you're gonna wanna let this dry. Um, it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes for that black ink to be dried. So I will be back when it's dry. Now we are going to, um, since the black ink is dry, we are gonna coat the edges of our wings. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of the hard UV resin in my container. And you still wanna be careful with the piece because there it might still be a little wet but this looks like it's pretty dry. Now what I do is I just take a toothpick, dip it into my resin, and go along the edges of my wings. And really all this is doing is giving you a little lip at the top here for your resin and it's also coating the edges so that they'll be nice and smooth and everything will be protected. So it'll all be enclosed in a new coat of resin when we put our resin on the front and the back. So just going along with the toothpick on the edge and I like to do one side at a time. I've got my UV lamp set up over here and I put something in front of it to cover the uh, light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put this under my lamp and let that edge dry first or cure first and go ahead and do the other wing. And just getting along the edges. And this just makes your edges just really smooth and your whole piece will be coated in UV resin. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one under my lamp now. Take the other one out and get the other side of it or the other edge, I should say, not the side, the edge. That also protects that black ink that you put on there, so it will never be coming off.
go ahead and put that under my lamp and grab the other wing. And get this edge here, making sure my fingers are clean. We're gonna get this edge. going to put that under my lamp and I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for five minutes and when those edges are cured I will be back. The edges are all now fully cured so what we are going to do we have two steps left to finish off these wings and what I'm gonna do is first we're going to add a coat of resin to the back side. And we're gonna put these down onto our tape. And I had just one little area here. And I'm gonna show you here I guess a little bit of resin had gone over. So I'm gonna show you that you can just take your scissors and you can just snip that right off. I also have a piece here that is a little jagged. All right, so we're gonna do the back sides first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And I will zoom in a little closer. And this is where I'm going to use my little uh, UV flashlight to do a flash cure, because I'm gonna do one wing at a time, but then I wanna put them both in to cure fully at the same time. So grab your hard resin and you are just gonna be putting a little bit down and spreading it out. You don't wanna to put too much on because you do not want it to go over the edges. How much to put down is going to just come to you in time with practice. Um, I always say start with a little, and if you need more, you can add it. If you add too much at once, you have that um, chance that it can spill over and then you'll just have to clean your piece off and start again with whatever step you were working on and that's not hard to do it's just not fun to do so I'm just pulling this out to the edges making sure that it completely gets to the edges you don't want to have anything exposed here. You want it all to be covered. So it's just a matter of just carefully working it to the edge. And this is going to be our last step to the backs. All right, that looks like I got everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my lighter to get out any bubbles. And this is where I'm gonna flash cure very quickly with my UV flashlight, simply to hold that resin in place while I work on the other wing. Add a little bit of resin to this one. And go 
ahead and spread that out to the edges. Now I have some really exciting to news to announce later in this tutorial. This is actually a collaboration tutorial, meaning what I create here, um, well, not necessarily in this video, but what I've created with these wings I am going to be sending to another artist for them to turn these into something even more beautiful. So I will announce who that person is in a little while. All right, so it looks like these are all out to the edge. Take our lighter. Get out any bubbles. And I'll just do a really quick flash cure. And we're gonna go ahead and put this under our lamp for eight minutes. And I will be back. The back sides are now fully cured. And you might get a little warping if that's the case, you can just kind of bend a little. Don't bend too much because you might crack it, but you can bend it a little bit back into shape. When we do the other side, it'll really pull it back into shape also. So now we're going to do the fronts and put them back on our tape and make sure that they're pushed down on there good. And this is where I like to take a t-shirt, uh, something soft material, cotton, and go ahead and wipe my fingerprints off of here. You want them nice and clean for our next step, which was our final step of the resin process. All right, so those are nice and clean. Now we're gonna take our resin and do just like we did the backs. Put some on there and spread it around. And just be careful in doing it because your piece might be a little curved, but like I said, this step will take that little curve out. So you want to work pretty quickly, but make sure you get to all of your edges. You don't want to leave anything exposed. Take it right to the edge. If you need to pull up a little bit of the resin, that's fine. Pull it back towards the middle. And this is also why I like to have that little lip when I do um, the edging so that you can take it out there and it gives it less chance for it to spill over. All right, now you're going to take your lighter, get out your bubbles. And this is where I like to take it and kind of look on the edge and make sure that it's all smooth. Now I'm going to flash cure so that we can get the other wing done. Go ahead and put resin down on this one. Spread it around. Get into your edges.
and then go over it again, making sure you have all your edges. Making sure everything is smooth. Looks good. Take my lighter, get out any bubbles, and do a flash cure. This also helps um, to get that little bit of curve out, but that'll come out in the UV lamp when we put it under there. All right, gonna put these under for eight minutes like the last time, and I'll be back with the finished pieces. Here are our finished wings from this tutorial. So colorful and sparkly. And now for the amazing news. The wings you saw at the beginning of this video, well, I sent those wings to Susan at Turtle Soup Beads and she has transformed them into something even more beautiful. She has created a, tu a tutorial showing you a beautiful idea on how to finish off the butterfly wings to make them wearable. And all I can say is, wow, go check out her YouTube channel. She creates beautiful beads and jewelry and is an amazing artist, not just with polymer clay, but with beadwork also. The link to the video she created using my wings is in the description below this video, as well as a link on the screen right now. So go check her out, check her tutorial out. I was really wowed by what she came up with. And here are some other wings that I have created. We can now add these to the collection. These are done using the um, Born Pretty Powders. These are with the Mylar. And the color and the sparkle is just amazing. These are also Born Pretty. And this is Mylar, and of course the ones that we made today with the holographic glitter. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on creating image transfers to UV resin. I love sharing my ideas and teaching. If you found this video helpful, please share it, please like it, and please subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.